Chief Troy Cooper says that harm reduction and education strategies already exist and often they don't cost any money. So there's no money earmarked for that. There are millions of dollars that are going to go towards adding new officers to beef up drug enforcement. Our role in the whole you know, view of, of drugs, particularly around serious drugs like crystal meth, is the enforcement piece of it. And we realize that that's not the only uh, uh, way to address drugs or addictions, but that's our responsibility. And so we're adding some strength uh, in 2019. The chief says while it's not visible in the budget, the force is always working with community partners. It's hard to measure success in those areas, and it's widely accepted that more arrests do not necessarily mean less crime. Father Andre Poiliev is the founder of Straight Up, a program that helps young people get out of gangs. Here's how he measures success. Uh, less people in jail. The jails are overcrowded. The courts are over, uh, they're out of control. Um, we have less lawyers today than we had last year at this time at legal aid. And so that's not helping the situation. Uh, so right now, I wouldn't say that we're successful all that much in terms of reducing crime. But Father Andre isn't necessarily blaming police for that. He says the community needs to step up and take care of each other. He's been working with uh, ex-gang members through Straight Up for several years, including people like Faith Eagle. She came to Straight Up eight years ago, and she offers one way that police can improve without spending a cent. You know, if, if they could come out towards us First Nations or ex-gang members, you know, be human towards us and we'll act human back. We're not raging animals. Um, <laughs> we do communicate, we do, we do get healthy, we do deal with our addictions. Eagle credits straight up and her own strength for her recovery, not the time she spent in jail. Now, as for the police budget, City Council will have to vote on that later next month. Bridget Yard, CBC News, Saskatoon.